them also with a divided heart is God. The Bible says, let not a double-minded man believe that he will receive anything from God. A, a divided heart guarantees the non-answer of any prayer. We don't even pray enough. But imagine that you pray and you have something fundamental that makes you God never to answer your prayer, no matter how how uh, how serious is your need? Thing fundamental that makes you God never to answer your prayer, no matter how how uh, how serious is your need. If if your prayer cannot be answered with all your needs, because God does not know when you will give up. But the Theodore's message at the 16th night of the ongoing crusade was a prayer that the Lord will set us free from a divided heart. Earlier on, this entity was handled in the slot of praying on the bed to a message with Pastor Matthew. There, Brother Tudor had explained that a divided heart is the biggest problem in the ministry. It is people who are not total in their commitments, people who have other alternatives, people who say yes or no and add anything to it. Such have a divided heart, and they are partners of Satan, he commented. The leader dwelt again on the issue of a divided heart, emphasizing that a divided heart is the guarantee that God will not answer your prayers, no matter how much you pray. Just as James chapter 1 verse 8 says, Let a double-minded and irresolute man not expect to receive anything for the Lord. The power of God does not back up irresolute people. That is, people who don't know what they want, he pinpointed. Reading the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 15 and 16, Brother Theodore brought out two things. First, for anyone who has abandoned the wall and is regretting, God will give them the opportunity to go back. Anything you regret having abandoned to follow Jesus, he will give you the opportunity to get it back. Second, God is looking for people with a single heart. He adopts such people as his children, and he is not ashamed to be called their God. Commenting further, the leader disclosed that the true shareholders of the ministry are those who give their all, and it is not sufficient. In another 10 years to come, when we will be looking at the faces ahead of us, will your face still be there? But the children ask, you know and God knows, he replied. May the Lord indeed bless us with a revival that will give us complete abhorrence for a divided heart. When somebody has abandoned the world and he is regretting, he will create temptations to carry him back. Everything you regret having abandoned to follow Jesus will come back to you. A divided heart creates temptations. Be there telling God how you have sacrificed this one, sacrificed this one, sacrificed this one. He will give you opportunities to take it back.